Thanks, Carly, and welcome to the screening room. I'm Russ Simmons, and just as I predicted, Sean Edwards needed a vacation from his family vacation, so he is recuperating, and he plans to be back with us next week. So, new in theaters this week, all you have to do is say Brad Pitt for a lot of people, and Brad Pitt is a charismatic, Oscar-winning actor, and his considerable efforts and some outstanding stunt choreography just aren't quite enough to save the over-the-top action comedy, Bullet Train. Pitt plays an assassin sent to Japan to recover a mysterious briefcase on the world's fastest train, only to find himself confronting an assortment of colorful bad guys. The frantic action is excessively bloody, and the cartoonish humor kind of negates any sense of peril. It's as subtle as a sledgehammer and just doesn't know when to quit. Bullet Train goes off the rails, both literally and figuratively. However, Sean disagrees. He calls it, quote, an extravagant chaotic mess fueled by Brad Pitt, who is as funny as ever in what could have been called Murder on the Orient Express with Pulp Fiction and Smoke and Aces vibes. It's way over the top, but fun. Get your neck braces out. Well, I'm giving it two out of five popcorn bags, but Sean doubles me up four popcorn bags for Bullet Train. Director Ron Howard brings yet another amazing true rescue story to the screen, this time on Amazon Prime. Viggo Mortensen and Colin Farrell star in 13 Lives, a dramatic recreation of the events of 2018 when members of a Thai youth soccer team became trapped in a flooding cave. The world was riveted by the remarkable international efforts to save them. And even though it's expertly made, this movie lacks dramatic tension because it focuses on the story of the rescuers and little attention is paid to the perspective of the trapped boys. Still, 13 Lives is a fitting tribute to those many heroes who risk all to free them. Uh, Sean liked it much better than I did, uh, but I'm giving it three popcorn bags, and actually in terms of the uh, rating, he's right there with me, three popcorn bags. Filipino-American stand-up comic Joe Coy stars in the dysfunctional family comedy Easter Sunday. He plays a struggling actor who returns home for a reunion with his bickering, boisterous family, only to get involved with a cousin's mix-up with some gangsters. While it's artificial, it's silly, it's still a good-natured, sentimental celebration of family bonds. And Sean says, quote, it's basically a Tyler Perry movie about a Filipino-American family. But inclusion matters, and it's charming and funny. Joe Coy is the real deal. I'm giving it three popcorn bags, and Sean agrees, three popcorn bags for Easter Sunday. You can see all of our reviews and interviews with Hollywood's biggest stars at fox4kc.com slash screeningroom. Check us out on YouTube, and be sure to give us a like on our Fox 4 Screening Room Facebook page for all the inside movie scoop, and we often give away movie passes there, so check us out. And that's right. it for this week, guys. And Russ, you were telling us before a little inside scoop, there's some trickery going on with that cave rescue movie. Ron Howard's is 13 Lives, but right. they're releasing another one. Well, actually, this movie was originally called The Cave, and uh -huh. it came out in 2019, but they rejiggered it and releasing it today, the same day as 13 Lives, and so you got to be a little suspicious about that release, but now uh, it's yes. called Cave Rescue. But if you want to see the Ron Howard one, it's getting a limited theatrical release, but you can see it on Amazon Prime. Very right. sneaky. Very yeah. sneaky. Interesting. All right, thanks, Russ. You bet.